All right, let's jump into this uh, tutorial for the NBA 2K19 Mod Star File Explorer. Uh, on my screen, you'll see two executable files, but I'm gonna show you what that's all about right now. So if we open up, you download the tool and open it up, we go over here to the left, click the only option available. It's supposed to load up all the archives like the 2K17 File Explorer would, but it doesn't have the correct path for my 2K19 folder because I don't use drive E. So most people use drive C. What we need to do is replace the I and I file inside of the executable. Um, so what we would do is right click and then open with WinRAR and find that I and I file and um, basically just drag it out of there. Uh, yeah, there it is. And then we would drag it out into a folder, which I've already done here. But yeah, you would grab it and drag it out and then edit it to have the correct paths using the correct drives, wherever your game is actually located. And then also where you actually want to export files, you know, like if you want to grab a texture or something, put it on your desktop, you need to put the correct address for your desktop for your desktop for your computer all right and then you would drag the i and i file back into um back into that list and press ok and everything will be good okay so here's the version of the executable where i've already done that as you can see all the archives load up and i'm going to go back over all of that but all of the archives load up when i click on one then it loads the list of files within that archive. Now here I'm going to search for something that is not in this archive. So it kind of freezes up the program. Um, there, there's no PNG files in here, so it didn't find anything. So it gives me an error, which is going to basically make me have to restart everything. When I searched for something that wasn't in this within this archive. So, Let's see. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm just scrolling around, but there is no PNG files in this archive, so it's not letting me click on anything. So I'm going to restart everything up. All right. So I'm show you again. If you open with WinRare and then like just get rid of these screens and then edit your INI file and just drag it into this and just press OK when you're done and exit out of there and then reopen you won't need two executable files like me i'm just using the before and after executable files to show you what what would happen but anyway go to the far left click on that option and then you have all your ar archives up here click on one give it a few seconds to load everything in there and you'll see all these lists of files within the archive all right so right now i'm just looking for something anything all right here we go so i click on face 4454.if also you can resize the columns if you need to be able to see the name of the files you can resize most of the these windows so as you see on my screen also they are dockable um you can undock them hide them uh, if you do hide them when you restart everything shows up again so let's get back to the file so I clicked on the face file and now I've clicked on an actual sub file which is the texture and you see a preview of the texture here now all textures will not show a preview but the ones for the faces do show a preview it and, and I right click if you click that second option under copy it will export the file that you're right clicking on all right so if I want that whole PNG file I'll just right click if I just wanted like the hi head dot scene right click and that second portion all right so here bottom right this is like for the uh, dot scene dot texture dot Jason dot our data files um, it shows you all the text that's contained within those files. 
All right. So yeah, it'll the the face textures will show up. It'll kind of have a transparent background. Um, I'm not gonna get too deep into that transparency stuff. But let's see, what else does this tool have going on? Uh, I'm not gonna close it. I'm not gonna close it just yet. Um, now here, these are supposed to be the import export options, but right now this tool only has export available. If you click what I just clicked, it'll select all these files and then click this and it'll unselect all those. Um, also you can change the theme of the tool. So like here, I'll, I'll show you a diff few different options, but when you change the look or the theme of this tool, it, it basically it just makes it look different. You have to give it a second for it to load the entire theme, but yeah, as you can see now it looks different. Um, a lot of these I don't really like. So just showing you a few different options. You guys can mess around with this, play with it, do whatever you want. Basically, this tool is just an alternative to the 2K17 file explorer. It is quicker. Um, and I think the creator is still working on getting some features implemented into this tool, like the import feature and then I think also being able to export multiple files at once. Um, now, I, I'm going to show you guys, for those of you who may still be kind of new to this, if you go to your manifest and open up manifest inside of something, a program like Notepad++, which is free, um, if you open it up inside Notepad++, you can find out which archive holds which files. So like it'll have a full listing. Uh, a lot of modders already know this, but it's not always, this isn't common to everybody. Everybody might not know this. So like this, this file right here, it's in the zero C archive. So let me get out of this stuff. If I come back to the program, go to zero C, I should be able to find that S29 floor. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Floor light map. It's right at the top. Also, if you look here, you can sort by alphabetical order of the file name or um, a few different other options. But yeah, you can sort, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So that's all I got for this video. That was just a quick run through just in case anybody wants to use this too.